Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. My name's Simon, and today I'm going to be talking to you about this device, the Broadlink Pro, and how we can integrate this into Home Assistant and use it to control any infrared or 433 megahertz devices. So, I've been wanting to control my infrared devices with Home Assistant for a while now. And I thought I'd try using my little sensor and ESP32, but it all looked a bit messy. So I came across this Broadlink RM4 device on AliExpress. Um, I looked at the reviews from people that had used it with Home Assistant, and everyone seemed to think it was a pretty good option. So I ordered one and it arrived very quickly. Uh, it's a very neat looking little device. Uh, very, very small, literally about um, 60 or 70 um, millimeters wide and really, really neat. It comes with this little 5 volt adapter. Uh, you either get it with the power supply or you can just use it with one of your uh, supplies that you use for your mobile phone. Uh, the device itself is really good. It is allowing you to actually control two types of devices, your infrareds which I'm going to use for my TV and for my um, air conditioning system and also RF devices. So if you've got any old RF devices that you want to control, you can use one of these as well. Now, let's have a look at how we integrate this into Home Assistant. Now, the first thing when you get the device is to set it up. So you need to basically download the app on your phone um, and plug the device in, connect to it via the app and then load your Wi-Fi credentials. And then what you need to do after that is to go and unlock it. So click on the three buttons at the top right, scroll down and unlock the device, which will allow us to access it from Home Assistant. Um, from there going forwards, we need to actually go into Home Assistant and you'll see it should pop up in your notifications. Mine has already been loaded, so we're gonna go in here. But once it pops in the notifications, all it asks you is for the device's IP address. You can actually go into the app and the IP address is there under the device settings. So very easy. So once you've integrated in, if it didn't show, you would just add the integration, which is a standard Home Assistant integration. Now the next, the next part of this is that you actually need to start learning the commands from the specific remote that you want to use to control for your device. So what we do for that is we go to developer tools and services. So effectively what we do is we go to remote, which is our a remote learn command. So there we go. Next, we're gonna choose our device and you'll see it's popped up an option, universal remote, there we go. And then what we're going to do is select the device, give it a name that we're going to control. So I'm going to say it's my air con underscore bedroom. Okay, so it's the aircon in the bedroom. And the first command we're going to teach it is the temp plus, so temperature up. So basically that's the command. It's an IR command, so we'll leave it there. And all we do now is we effectively press the call service button. And you'll see the notification comes on there. And then we aim our remote control at the Broadlink device. Press the button, and there we go. The light goes out and it's now learned that. Now, say you wanted to learn another command. We can go temp minus and we can go call service again and we then press the temp minus and it's now learned that command. So we've now taught it two commands. You could go and teach it as many commands as you want to. All right, so the next step is that we want to call the service. So what we're going to go is we're going to go to settings and we're now and we're going to create a script to call of that. So we go to scripts and we go add script. OK, and we're going to say air con temp plus. OK, now we're going to go down the bottom here and we're going to add an action so the action is call service all right and the service we're going to select now is the remote control and it's send command okay so now we've created that we then want to select 
once again the device which is the universal remote control and the device we're going to call is the aircon underscore bedroom okay and the command that we're going to do is temp plus simple as that all right so now we save the script and there we go we've now created a script and now we can either call that script from within an automation or we can create a button on our so we can go here on our dashboard we can go add card we can select a button and we can now select that aircon aircon temp plus and there we go simple as that we can save that and we can now go here we can press that button you heard the little beep that was now controlling my aircon and changing the temperature so that is literally how easy it is to use this device and set it up from here you could go and create a whole automation system to actually control the temperature in your home so that's all for now have a great week. Bye then.